Hey Bulmas, I am Tom. I am Max. And we're here yet again to tell you about the new releases coming up next week. This week, really, when you're watching it. Anyway, first up, uh, we got a Criterion release. Hopscotch, got Walter Matthau, Glenda Jackson, comedy super duo, uh, CIA agent, is trying to expose some secrets. It's all set to Mozart. It's supposed to be real funny, real 80s. Also on Criterion, Meantime, uh, which has some heavy hitters. You got Tim Roth, Gary Oldman, a scene stealing Gary Oldman in his first major role. Sounds pretty good. Sounds real good. Don't drop it. Uh, we got Chuck. We got Mr. Lee Schreiber. Schreiber? I don't know. Ron Perlman, Jim Gaffigan, Elizabeth Olsen, Naomi Watts. Everybody is in this movie. And it is uh, the story of the boxer whose life eventually Rocky was based on. I didn't say that sentence anywhere near how I should have. <laughs> Season 2 of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Um, yeah, what will tomorrow have in store and how legendary will it be? So legendary. Uh, how to be a Latin lover. Uh, I'm going to pick this one up. Because age is a number, but sexy is forever. Uh, also, Rob Lowe is a cop. Imagine getting busted by Rob Lowe. I cannot. Alien. This movie is awesome. Uh, Michael Fassbender is like my favorite guy, and there's two of them in this. Oh, that was your favorite guy. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, check this out if you're a fan of the franchise, or if you liked Prometheus, because um, it's basically a sequel to that. Uh, we got the Sheena Queen of the Jungle Collection, the movie and the TV series. Uh, which, if you're looking for some like epic 1950s TV with people riding around on elephants and zebras and stuff, that's a must-have for 13.97. Let me tell you. The Wall, not Floyd's, but John Cena's. Uh, one of my favorite actors, hands down. Cena. Um, can't see him. Can't see him. Can't see him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can't run. You can't hide. You can only fight. John Cena. Mm. Powerpuff Girls, The Last Donnycorn. What is a Donnycorn, you may ask? It's Donnie the Unicorn. Uh, this is the newer Powerpuff Girls that they've been up to. Uh, and apparently this season has got one one long narrative about, about Donnycorn, which I didn't think they did, so they're trying out some new <laughs> cinematic test material. All right, we got a whole mess of Stephen King reissues. Pet Cemetery. On Blu-ray, mm. uh, Pet Cemetery 2, Graveyard Shift, and Gary Busey in Silver Bullet, a young Busey. Like a young Busey. <laughs> uh, Shakes the Clown, which is, uh, you know, Shakes is loved by children, desired by women, and adored by bartenders everywhere. You got an alcoholic clown, gets blamed for murder, uh, you know, he ends up having to deal with a gang of mimes, a gang of rodeo clowns. And a gang of regular clowns. That seems like the same same team, maybe. The Citizen Kane of alcoholic clown movies. Also, Tom Kenny, isn't it? So. Somewhere. Not the clown, though. Uh, and can't wait to read... I'm going to burn through this one. Bruce Campbell's uh, follow-up to If Chins Could Kill. Um, Confessions of a B-movie actor. Man, what a beautiful jawline he's got. He's also, like, got a sword. What's this one called? Um, further confessions of a B-movie actor. Hail to the chin. He really likes his chin. Yeah, he really does. Can I like his chin, too. Yeah, me too. And that's it. Bruce Campbell, if you're watching, come by. We love you. Hang out with you and your chin. We love that. Uh, everybody else, you can come by, too. Yeah. Come by.